Okay, last lesson of this class, I just want to talk about how to export different shapes, different layers into a separate file. That is the actual thing that we need while we exporting, while we delivering our design into developing step or uh, we can uh, develop it by our own self, for example, using HTML and CSS, or we can deliver that, we can give our design project to a developer to work on it on the actual application or on the actual website. Okay, how can we export these different layers into separate file with the exact same dimension of these button? We can do that with the built-in tools of Illustrator. We have to use third-party script. And here, I use, I'm using a, a script called uh, multi-export that uh, you can download on the project area of this class. It's completely free and you can use it inside of Illustrator. So, so the first thing I want to do is that putting these shapes into different layers. For example, this, uh, I'm just creating new layer. Maybe this is button two, button one, and put button two label into button two and this rectangle in here. Now we have different and separated a layer for these shapes. So let's go to button two and change this. And now for exporting and separating them, I just want to select all of them or maybe put this to above the first one. Select them and go to file, a script, other script and go to desktop and choose multi exporter. Now we have this script. The first parameters is ex export from art artboards or your current artboards. We just uh, select current artboards and also export layers. You want to export all of the layers or you can just select your selected items in here. Your file prefix and suffix name. You already know that prefix and suffix in, in UI and UX design is very, very uh, good to use because it's defined what is the file exactly, what is the usage of that a specific layer in the into developing process or or what is the rule of that uh, shape in a single screen so for example maybe in here new and suffix of btn prefix and maybe suffix to zero zero and a scaling to hundred percent output directory choose where you want to export maybe we use we just create a new folder in here for example, output, okay, and export format, you have PNG, PDF, or anything else, we use PNG 24-bit, and also inner painting or term or transparency, if you want, if you have transparency, uh, you can use that, we have, we, have, we want, uh, we want them without background, so we need transparency, and uh, we just click on export, now wait a moment, all of these layers are exporting into different files with the exact same size. So now they are exported, go to the desktop and in output, you see it is the junk file. We just delete this. So in here we have our layers into different file and they are ready for delivering and completing. So. Now you have this and button two with the exact same dimension. It's very helpful. It's very good to use this script while you want to export and finishing up your UI design. Okay, guys, our class is ended here. That is it. Don't forget to check out other Polygon Motion classes on Skillshare and also check out and also don't forget to check out polygonmotions.com website it's newly launched there's a lot of things going on and there's a lot of classes on graphic design motion graphic ui and ux design and these other creative scale my name is ichi from polygon motion and we will see next time